Hey guys, Dow Phoenix here. I want to kind of preface this video because there's a lot of craziness. I kind of freak out a little bit on this. The rage is real, but when you see what's going on, you'll see, you'll have some understanding of why, even though it is just video games and it's not that serious of a deal, but um, feel free to poke fun at me or whatever if you'd like. <laughs> But anyways, uh, not one of my prouder moments. But this is about Wolfenstein 2 and the uh, absurd difficulty curve this game has in certain segments of the game that makes me wonder if the playtesters actually playtested the game or that the balancing of the game was of any importance to them. So uh, check it out and let me know what you guys think. You know, it's quite long-winded, but here we go. Make sure your people make it out. Oh yeah, you gotta tear some shit up now, BJ. Come and fucking get me, you white ass fascist Nazi pig. <laughs> Fucking disappeared before my eyes. Like, where was my HP fucking at? Even. It went from like 50 to 2 to 0. Like, I don't even know where it went. Damn, that fucking health is disappearing like a motherfucker. Fuck. On medium difficulty, I might repeat this again, medium. Medium means that the average gamer should be able to, you know, get through it. Maybe some loss, but they're gonna get through that shit. But I'm fucking dying, like, fucking almost instantly. Like, I'm dying quicker than you do on the hardest difficulty in Call of Duty, which... You know, I know it's probably not saying a whole lot. It's not like the toughest FPS game, but you know, it does have challenge. And you're playing on the hardest difficulty at the very least, so I'll find a better uh, spot to hole up. I think almost fucking instantaneous death, man. Almost instantaneous. And it's not like he's using a really powerful weapon. Like a shotgun or something like that, where the damage output would make logical sense. No, he's using a regular fucking gun, like I am. So the, the damage output should be tuned around that fact. I guess we're just gonna have to cheap it out as much as possible, because the game is pretty much forcing it upon us now. Now I'm getting uh -oh. hit. So I guess they can shoot through that grid. So there's no there's no true cover in this map. Like there's no there's nowhere I can actually take cover at. At least that I've seen. I guess there's this right here. Armor, okay. Great kit. Okay, let's see if there's anything good we can. Let's keep the upgrade kit. I don't know where the health went. I don't even recall getting hit. That armor went away almost instantaneously too, man. Like, I have a very fucking measly amount of fire. I mean, we're not talking... Like, did the difficulty somehow change? Did I accidentally up the difficulty? Let's find out. No, nope, still on bring them on. Still on the medium difficulty setting. The medium one. Fucking Dark Souls of FPS games right here, man. I don't like using that comparison because that's a stupid comparison to make, honestly, but... The one that they're forcing upon me here off of a heavy fucking amount of damage output for a relatively small amount of gunfire hitting my actual character. 
that, like, literally higher damage output than I'm doing to them, if that makes any sense. And I'm the one with the fucking badass armor. This is the Bioshock 2 Syndrome that I talked about last time. You know, the Bioshock 2 Syndrome is where, you know, in Bioshock 2, famously you play as a badass, a big daddy in that game. And the issue is... So you're playing as a big daddy, you, you, the difficulty setting is actually higher than the original Bioshock, despite the fact that you're not fighting enemies that are actually tougher than the original Bioshock. You're still fighting the same crowd of enemies that you did in that game. So the Bioshock 2 Syndrome. So in Bioshock 1, of course, you had to fight the Big Daddies as a normal guy that you got those Psy-type power-ups that you can get, right? And you have to, you know, deal with them in your own way. I get that we're supposed to be surrounded and outnumbered here, but I also get that the guy I'm playing as is supposed to be a badass that's killed hundreds of Germans. And that part is the hard we're having suspension of disbelief with when you come to this high level of difficulty. And, you know, it's arbitrary because the first game didn't have this degree of difficulty. Not for this difficulty setting, at least. Now, if you the highest difficulty setting, sure, but that's what they're there for. They're for people that want the absolute highest level of challenge, and therefore you should be given it at that point. When you're playing a medium difficulty, you shouldn't be getting challenge that is high. So again, it, that is called the uh, pepper effect, is what I call it, because I equate that to, like, peppers. You have peppers of different degrees of hotness. Um, you could take something like, say, a... Um, like a jalapeno. Let's say that's medium. Probably not even medium. Right? It's lighter than medium. So, that's kind of like the baseline when you think of hot peppers versus not hot peppers so on. The jalapeno is kind of like the in-between. It's like the baseline pepper. Everybody is familiar with how hot a jalapeno is. So either it's not hot enough for you if you're like someone that's really in the heat. Got just the right amount of kick if you're someone that's kind of in the medium of peppers, or, you know, if you're someone that can't stand the heat, it's way too hot, right? So that's like the, the standard of jalapeno is the medium difficulty um, in terms of peppers. <laughs> I know it's not like a stupid analogy, but tear me out, guys. Okay, so you take like a bell pepper. Bell peppers have like basically no heat at all. You know? That is easy difficulty, okay? If you can't eat a fucking bell pepper, then you can't eat peppers at all, pretty much. Okay, those are the easiest ones to eat, more or less. And then, you know, you get, like, your other ones mixed in there. You know, I don't know how to compare the various degrees of heat, you know, but there's various... Okay, I died almost instantaneously there. I had 50 health, zero armor, and then in a matter of half a second, I went down to zero. Okay? So this is another difficulty spike, just like stage two that is not explainable by any normal mechanics the game informs us about. Arbitrary fucking difficult. The uh, enemies are here. There is like a brief, brief, brief ass fucking moment where you can have a tiny bit of stealth here and spare yourself a tiny bit. 
for some reason, the grenades didn't pick up when I picked them up earlier. I understand why. Can I grab some health pickups and whatnots? Okay, I grabbed a health pickup, I guess. I what the fuck? That is such. That's called bad game design. This is bad game design right here. This is on medium difficulty, and we should not be sustaining such high levels of fucking difficulty off of bullshit, arbitrary shit. What this is right now. Almost instantaneous death over a pretty modest amount of fucking actual hits committed by the enemy. Like, and this was, like, almost every other FPS game. Like, anything from Call of Duty to Doom to pretty much anything that's not based on realism. So if it wasn't, like, something like, uh, fucking Rainbow Six or Arm Arma or something like that, and, you know, like, if it was one of those games, this setting would be the easiest difficulty in terms of damage. Because... That's just how that is, but this is a normal action-based FPS based on health pickups and things like that. So we shouldn't be experiencing such high levels of difficulty on a medium setting at any point in the game. Like, you shouldn't be required, if you're a gamer of average or better skill, you shouldn't have to restart a fucking segment 20 plus times. At least not for like difficulty reasons. Like this is true difficulty. Where? Okay, yeah. I say I picked up some armor earlier. Where did that go? Okay. I have no health pickups whatsoever. All right. Why is there a fucking green box that looks like a health pickup, and it's not a fucking health pickup? I want to know why that is. Why are we experiencing such high fucking levels of difficulty in a medium difficulty game that shouldn't be having such high levels of difficulty? It does not make any logical sense. What? He literally took more shots to kill than I will take to kill. And my current fucking health level. That's pretty fucking hilarious, consider my guy is a badass motherfucker. My character is the badass motherfucker. He's supposed to be, at least. He is supposed to be the badass motherfucker. He's the one that is the guy that killed hundreds of Germans. He's the one that has this awesome badass power armor. But no, he's the one that dies quicker. Wrap your head around that. Try to explain the logic behind that. Like, how does that make sense? There has to be some kind of glitch or bug that is causing, whenever I'm playing this game, to causing the difficulty setting to be a lot higher. So it's either that or the devs forgot how to difficulty. Even though they successfully did it in the first game. They successfully pulled off the medium difficulty setting in the first game. They all of a sudden forgot how to do it in the second one. Even though they should have learned more, they should have been better at developing games than they were in the first title, I would assume, at least. That would be a pretty safe assumption, I think. So we got a big guy around here.
This is unfucking real, motherfucker. Unfucking real. I'm I am I know I'm raging like a motherfucker, but it's for very fucking good reason. Well, actually it's for really shitty reasons because it's a fucking video. Right? I shouldn't be getting to this. The reason why it's a good reason is because like the amount of video games that actually do this are fucking infinitesimally small. That motherfucker lived for a fucking stealth attack. Okay, so these guys have more armor than my character do, apparently. Even though my guy has the super experimental armor that only he has. Okay, okay, it makes sense, motherfucker. So we know you're using the wrong fucking gun, apparently. Guys, we have to use the armor piercing rounds. You no, know, it's a fucking hazmat suit, not a fucking armor. They take more damage than I do. Okay, so we need to increase the damage, I think, on this gun. Uh, let's see, marksman scope. Yes. Now, hopefully it doesn't screw things up. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. It's just gonna be single fire now. We can't. Oh, these got hey, you guys still alive? I shot him like three or four times with that fucking gun. I think that would have been enough. I think that would have been enough. Fuck you, game. Fuck you very much. This is fucking getting retarded as fuck now, man. The amount of highly measured difficulty for zero reason happening in the game right now. This is stupid. It is downright fucking stupid. If you want to put this on the difficulty setting above this or anything like that, fine. Have at it, fucking hoss. Because then you're fucking getting to the point where gamers know they're playing the harder difficulty. They are going to expect the harder fucking difficulty. That's pretty fucking logical. Okay. So, but look how they literally killed me faster than I killed them. In spite of all of the advantages I should be having... Given the fact that I have a lot of disadvantages by being outnumbered by them. But I don't get any of the advantages of being the fucking player character. You'd figure that being the player character would net. This is actually semi-working, surprisingly. Okay, I'm out of ammo now, though. Wow, motherfucker! That is fucking shit. Wow. These developers are high as fuck. If they think that this is legitimate difficulty on a medium fucking setting. They are fucking stoned out of their fucking minds, man. Out of I mean, people can say, oh, well, it's like a skill, like a skill. Well, motherfucker, there's no real cover. There's a bunch of enemies versus my one guy. I'm shooting a single shot fucking weapon, and they literally do more damage sometimes than my character can do to them. 
Where's my fucking advantage in all this? The guy apparently survived. He barely fucking survived. Apparently, despite the change to my gun, which should have enhanced it, it actually somehow defeated it. That makes any logical sense. And it made it a worse gun. And sometimes... Oh man, I fucking hate the makeup so It's so fucking ignorant. Stupid. And I know the first game had the same pickup problems, but it, like, was not a problem in the same degree. This is just uh, fucking unreal, man. The amount of difficulty. And I, as a player, given the level of skill that I'm at, I mean, you can clearly see I'm not the best player. I'm not the worst player, though, either. Like, I definitely have a little bit of fucking capability of playing an FPS game, I would say. I have had a long history of playing FPS games. I'm doing far from that fucking uh, guy that was doing Doom that he couldn't even fucking shoot at a character, you know, like, right. Can I, I can actually fucking hone in on targets. That, that's not a problem. It's just the absurdity of the level of difficulty. Problem. And the fucking high amount of damage that the enemy fucking patents do, too. It's using regular weapons, like, I mean, I can accept that they're shooting, like, rockets or some kind of shit like that that can fuck my character up. See, look at that. Look how fast I fucked that guy up. So it's not like a lack of skill on my part here. It's just that the game literally takes away everything from me as a player. It does not give me nearly enough to surmount the uh, experience. As much as I hate for this game to go down the path of, you know, regenerating health, you're gonna have to fucking compensate the player in some means if you're gonna be the stingy in health pickups. Like the health pickup system, the overcharge system, it kind of worked in the first game because you actually had the ability to survive stuff, which, you know, I pretty much have no choice but to uh, just pick up shit as I go along. So. the. You know, everything is just too thick. I kind of have to have a safe spot. Of I didn't even do that. Okay, I'm just fucking doing terribly now. the fucking reticle to pick up the pickups is way too fucking outrageous. Like, those grenades, I can't even see what they are. This, I had trouble picking that up. I was right the fuck on it. I was slamming that fucking X button like a bitch. Right on that. And I was, for some reason, having difficulty with grabbing it. Like, it's the simplest fucking thing. But for some reason, my character had strange difficulty.
lost my health almost instantaneously. This is unfucking real, man. The difficulty of this game is fucking insane. These, this has to be patched. You either have to patch it or you have to make bring them on higher than medium. Like you have to add some kind of setting in between. You know, one that normal players can play. Like actual players that don't have um, nothing but time to play video games all day, but they're good at video games to some degree. But people at the same time that don't want to spend incessantly high amounts of time to play a video game. And add a setting for players like us, okay? I don't think that's too strange for a quest to make, given the incessant amount of difficulty. Any of means that most people should be able to surmount it eventually. You know, like, eventually. Surmounted. I am not sure that's going to be possible if this is what I can expect of this game. Though. Don't expect that I'll be able to beat this game. The same levels of difficulty we're having this early in the game. This is still pretty early. Like We're not even a quarter of the way through, if I understand right. Still dying like motherfucker. Could have made it a little more fucking obvious that a guy was there. Could have. I had no idea there's a motherfucker there. How many of these motherfuckers are there? Seriously. This is a non-stop and constant thing. And you don't give me any power-ups or any fucking way to deal with it. No fucking turret in the middle of stage. No fucking traps I can place. No better guns. No new guns. <gasps> I have this gun, but it's... I can pretty much count out using it on any of the enemies because... I have to reserve it for the most powerful enemies. Yeah, I wonder fucking why. I really wonder fucking why on a medium fucking difficulty. But... I really don't know what to say. I hope this demonstrates to you guys enough that this game's difficulty is simply broken. Uh, if you're having a hard time with this game, it's not you. It's the game. Okay? This is literally the only FPS game I ever played that thinks that a medium difficulty is fucking Ghost Pepper. Okay? Apparently. Apparently. Or Carolina Reaper or something shit like that. And so we're going back to the Pepper analogy because that one fucking works. It is a legit analogy. Perfect to explain how to do difficulty right and how to do it wrong in a video game. This game does it very fucking deeply wrong. Like, how am I this fucking close to dying already, motherfucker? I barely fucking got touched, even. I barely fucking got touched. One fucking last attempt, period. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. That's the thing. I don't think I'm really doing anything wrong. I'm use utilizing the fucking stage to the best of my fucking ability. I guess this game is just trying to tell me, well, if you beat fucking uh, the new order on this difficulty, <laughs> count your fucking luck out of beating it in this game. Pretty fucking punch. Like, seriously, the health went... Like, all that armor and health went nowhere. It just fucking disappeared. And the thing is, the game doesn't uh, compensate you in any way. See, like in Doom 2016, when you were low on health, you had the ability to recover some of your health by doing, like, special kills and shit like that, okay? 
This game doesn't have that opportunity. You only get the help that the game grants you. Nowhere else do you get anything else. The game steams that you don't deserve anything else, you don't get anything else. It's as simple as that. Okay? It is as simple as that. Which makes no sense either. Like seriously, that guy that shot me, he literally did one point of damage. And we've seen instances where I take like 30 or 40 points of damage in one shot too. So like, there's no consistency in the damage model in this game. The damage model, I guess it has to be broken. That would be the only logical explanation behind that. Like, I, like when you get past the easiest difficulty, the damage completely like those haywire it makes no sense anymore and now the game all of a sudden is like only sending like one enemy at a time at me now it's really weird okay now i take that back we got these guys now that fucking drone at. I mean, I hate to point out the obvious. Okay. I survived to the helicopter. Holy fucking shit. That was literally the last time I was going to attempt it. I somehow survived it. That shit was fucking relentless. That is... Literally one of the hardest things I've ever done in video game. There's stages in Cuphead that were easier than that fucking shit. Stages in Cuphead, a game that's fucking infamous for its difficulty, easier than this fucking game at medium difficulty. There are at least two difficulty settings higher than this. I think there's actually three, if I'm not mistaken, because the third one, if you die, is permadeath, and you have to start the entire game. up and given in. See, I guess they don't have talk about fucking insanity. She nah, they just do whatever the what fucking the fuck is wrong tells with them to do. Why is it so fucking hard? Fight the Nazis just as much as it doesn't do. make any logical sense. All I need for someone to show them how. None you whatsoever. After the Nazis I mean, I'm not claiming that I'm a great gamer, play. but I Am think I, right? I can do okay. So do? Considering that I almost beat Cuphead, I haven't played it in a while, but... Get your head out, your I, I have only got like 100 and something F's, which is really nothing. I've seen people Focus that beat it that have got like 300, so... Um, I've only got like two or three bots. On on empty. Don't know how much time I got. This is fucking insane. Even stand up on my own this is literally insane. And you guys need to retweak right. segments maybe like maybe this, the I'll segment at the end of level game. two, and any other segments that I haven't Nazis seen yet that are like this. Because I'm sure if we have right, two right, of these segments, there's probably way. more. I don't know. So you guys need to fucking tweak your shit. But I know this. Now Phoenix out.